though. The I guess it could make do or you, break. Do you put music in the in the sex tape? I mean, are you playing music? Do people still play music? Sometimes, sometimes you play music just to kind of drown it out. If like somebody in the next room or something like that. That's a dead giveaway. But they're not hearing the thumping. Shit me. Yes, they are. You can always hear that thump. That headboard against that wall is a unique sound. <laughs> we back. Another week, another episode. <laughs> <laughs> what up? <laughs> you all be the podcast. I am your host, Regular Ja. And I am here with my lovely co-host, Miss Pamelita Pusalitwa. I hate that name. It's so disgusting. Oh, my God. I hate it. Pamelita Pusalita. Where do you get these names? They're terrible. They are terrible. Nah, they, they, the people love it. They do not love it. <laughs> they don't like it at all. I, mean, I don't know who the fuck the people are, but they love that shit, though. Uh, okay. So, what's up? How your week? I mean, besides the devastating fucking news that, everybody, that hit everybody, how was your week? It was okay. Well, it went a little bit better, I think. Yeah. After that happened, you look at life a little differently. After For sure. After like that. Yeah, that shit, uh, if y'all don't know, we talk about the, uh, co- the unfortunate Kobe Bryant and the eight people that passed with him, inc- one including his daughter and two other little girls and then their parents. Like a whole family. Yeah. Like, like two whole, families. Yeah. It was two families and a pilot and then him and his daughter. So I just that's keep three. thinking like, why didn't they, the pilot say, hey, you know, it's a little too foggy. Maybe we should wait, you know? You but can't I had, always think what if. But. Yeah, I mean, I had seen that um, they were saying something about the pilot didn't have the authority to uh, fly in those conditions, like with the fog and shit That's like that. That's what I'm saying. So. Like what, I mean, they said he flew, or he flew with that pilot often, so he yeah. wasn't a stranger. So I'm just trying to figure out, like, yo, if it's too foggy, like, yo, don't do it. What's the... Yeah. Too late now. But. And I mean, they even said that they grounded like all of the other, like the police helicopters, like all the other helicopters, like were grounded at that point. And it was like so they I still what the, fucking what the conversation was to make him even decide to fly anyway. Knowing Kobe and just knowing who he is, like, because you know, every everybody says the same thing. Kobe's just straightforward, no nonsense. Like, yo, bro, yeah. let's we got shit to do. Let's yeah. do let's do this shit. And then, you know, Kobe been flying helicopters since, um, I think, like, 2002, 2003 yeah, or some I shit like that. that. So, he probably was like, man, I do this shit all the time. You all right. You good. Yeah. Or, you know, I'm, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to put it out that, I, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just figuring. Like, you know, it probably went something that way. Probably. And the pilot probably thought, like, man, shit, I've done this. I've done this before. I, we good. That's scary. So, I mean, I mean, it's just real unfortunate. That shit. It is. That shit makes you look at a lot of things. And I know absolutely nothing about sports. But that <laughs> is so broke my heart. Yeah. For his wife, his children. Sad. Really, really sad. Yeah, that shit is, uh, you know, it's, it's real unfortunate. That shit is kind of hard to talk about. It is hard it to still talk don't about. Feel, it still don't feel real. It still don't feel, uh, it's like, it's like a surreal feeling. It's like, because every, every so often, like, I stop thinking about it and it won't be on my mind. And then it hit me like, damn, fucking Kobe. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Kobe Bryant is actually fucking out of here. He's mamba out. It's just sad. That shit. And thinking about his wife, because I'm pretty sure she still had to go identify her husband. Yeah. And her daughter. And a lot of people are, um, you know, mad at TMZ. Yeah, so. that's a terrible way to find out that somebody passed. That is so. a terrible way. Like, at some point, you got to, like... Yeah. You got to just stop. Like, come on. You want to have a story break that bad? Like, I mean, I get it. It's terrible. I get it. I, I understand how the media and shit works. So, I mean, I understand. But at the same time, with understanding, it's like, yo, sometimes, yeah, I get it. The, the money, you know, business first and all that shit. But, you know, at what cost? And what did they gain from that? You break yeah. the story first. I mean, well, they, they website got so many hits that the shit crashed. Like, a couple times. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know, when you got a certain website like that, like, it it generates revenue yeah. every time you get when you get traffic in. So it obviously they the only fucking news people out there that has this story at this time, and it's fucking Kobe Bryant. He's like the fucking biggest athlete alive right now. Minus, I mean, you know, at that time, 
Yeah. Minus like Michael Jordan or LeBron James or you know what I'm saying. That's like one of them something happening to one of them. Like yeah. it's fucking Kobe Bryant. Like it's just unreal. And then people just won't let you like you see it every <clears throat> single day. I've seen it every single day on my timeline everywhere. Yeah. Whether you get on you look at the newspaper or you yeah. have the news on your phone. It is everywhere. It's sad. Yeah, and fuck them um Fuck all them news people. Fuck all them news people that bring up that shit that happened in 2003. Yeah. Like, so y'all had between 2003 and the day that he died to talk about this shit. Some shit that obviously, you know what I'm saying? But it was so long ago. No yeah, I mean, but they, the, the shit got settled. Like, it was like, yeah, it, it wasn't even was a no fucking, it was nothing it at, at all. all. Like, you know what I'm saying? So... You wait till after the man dies to bring that shit up for what reason? No, I'm saying so. fucking jobs because a lot of them have been suspended. <laughs> like, yeah. it ain't worth it. So fuck every news person or every regular person or every whoever that brought that fucking. I'm not even gonna say what it is. Everybody know what it is, but that brought that situation about Kobe in 2003 up. Like that shit is corny. That shit is whack. Yeah. Like this shit, it holds no fucking precedence in. The situation that happened. Like, this man lost his life, his daughter's life, and two other little girls and their families. Like, and that's what you think about. That's what you want to report. The first thing you think about is his death. It's like, hey, hey, remember? Yeah. And some people was trying awful. to, like, justify his death, like, because of that. It's like, my nigga, he died in a crash. It's not like somebody found him and did something to him in regards to that situation. Yeah. Like, how the fuck can you, you know what I'm saying? So, that shit... That shit just, you know, I hate ignorance. Me too. And uh, I just, you know, that's the time that you wish you could just put hands on motherfuckers. Hmm. But these are the same motherfuckers that will definitely get you sent to jail. Absolutely. You, 100%. You, know, you going straight there. If you fucking, you look at them wrong, they going to be like, yo, he intimidated me. I don't feel fucking safe. He needs to be put away. Yeah. So, you know. But yeah, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant, man. Rest in peace, Gigi, and rest in peace, the rest of the people. Yes. The little girls and their families, the mothers and fathers that lost their lives, and the pilot that lost their lives on Damn. that tragic fucking day. So, but yeah, man. Yeah, just sad. How do you talk about something yeah. else after that? It's, it's like, just- I, don't, I don't even know how to, like, segue into, like, the next thing. But, I mean, the NBA definitely... um. It won't be the same. No. Even though he was retired and he wasn't playing, it, it won't be the same though. And um, I don't know if you you ain't watched the game last. I know it came on like no. mad late and you're not really into sports no, like I just that crazy. There was, like some tribute thing at the beginning. Yeah, they did, and then LeBron spoke. Had the fucking entire oh, see, arena been crying. crying and so shit. I'm good. I'm super <laughs> soft, so I know. I, mm-hmm. Yeah, LeBron cussed on live TV. It was justified, though. He was like, yo, they want me to read off this paper, but if I do that shit, I'll be doing y'all injustice. And he just spoke from the heart. Mm. Yeah, good thing I didn't watch it. Did you shed a tear? Nah, yeah. You know, I'm like a, I'm kind of like numb when it comes to shit like that. It fucked me up, though. I think I cried Sunday. I definitely cried. I was just like, (laughs) hug my babies a little tighter. Yeah. I mean, Mm. as far as like like actual tears, nah. But it ain't because I'm heartless. It's just, I'm just... I don't know. You're light skinned. You cry. It's okay. <laughs> we cry. Okay. <laughs> you just—you really just hit me with the prince. You're light skinned. You cry. It's okay. <laughs> I won't judge you. No, I mean every human being cries. I don't give a fuck if you the most thugged out nigga in the world. Like everybody fucking cries. Facts. You know what I'm saying, but I don't know. It's like death is numbing to me. I so handle most death times, a little differently too. Yeah, but even, like, when there's people close to me, like, I don't cry right away. Like, it has to hit me, and then yeah. it's like, damn. It depends on how close they are to me. Yeah, I mean... If you're not... Like, I think I cry harder for animals, which is kind of weird. Yeah, like you look... You definitely... I definitely, like, be bawling my eyes up, but... You definitely did cry when that squirrel was in the fucking middle of the street earlier. Don't do that. <laughs> don't don't like, do that, but I, I wouldn't hit a squirrel, even if it was dead already. That's wrong. So so wrong. You've hit. You look like you like got locked up for hitting some shit. I would never. <laughs> like, Could you imagine? 
How the fuck you get locked up for a hit and run on a raccoon? I would never do that. I would swear around it. I couldn't. So you would kill yourself before you kill I a raccoon? I wouldn't kill myself, but what if that raccoon so if, has... What, is, what if it's a car coming and it's a ditch right here and a raccoon is in your way? I'm going to honk first. No, you going like 45, 55 miles an hour. You can, ain't no honking. Ain't no... He not moving. I don't want to think about that. It makes my stomach hurt. I can't. So you got to make a decision. So this car... I don't want to go in the ditch. <laughs> you damn sure don't want to go head on with this car. Uh-uh. But what if that raccoon has kids? You got kids. Yeah. R.I.P. That raccoon. That raccoon is gone. But I would feel really bad about it. Yeah, I mean, you would feel fucked up, but that raccoon is up out of here. Yeah. Why would you put me in that that spot? I don't like how that makes me feel. Okay? Yeah. I don't. Gosh. I don't like when animals die. Makes me sad. So did you uh, watch the Grammys? No, I watched clips of yeah, it. Yeah, because they did a tribute to Kobe, too. That's I why I liked I, it. I mean, I want to talk about the Grammys anyway. So, I I mean, this is a perfect yeah, segue like to that. bring I, the I Grammys did, up. I watched clips of it. Yeah. So, what uh, what stood out to you as far as what you did see? Tyler. Saying, pretty much saying, fuck Hollywood. Yeah. That and then <laughs> Jaden Smith saying that he was his boyfriend and that he won a Grammy. So, I didn't know if that was a joke. He oh. says that a lot because he said that at like a show or some shit like like two three years ago. Is it true? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I think it is, man. You know, like I'm, this. We we live in a troll era, though. Nah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. So we 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 actually live in a trolling era. So it's like even like Tyler the Creator came out and said he was like gay, like fully gay. But it's like it's Tyler the Creator. So do we really? I wouldn't put it past him though. Yeah, but I mean, but no, he said he is. He said he's like, like motherfucking Lil Nas X gay. I can see it. But it's Tyler the Creator. Like he's like Tyler the fucking Creator. Like he does wild shit, says wild shit. Like he has done that his whole career. So it's like, is he trolling us? I don't know. It's working. Whatever he's doing. And then the crazy shit is, you can't even question it because then the fucking. The alphabet people, as Dave Chappelle called them, because it's a lot. I'm not gonna remember all them fucking letters. Yeah. But if you question it, they gonna hit you with the with the the why does it matter debate. Fact. So they just like you. Now I'm saying so. It's just a bunch of shit. But yeah, um, what's her name? Uh, Billy English won like the four. Billy Eilish. What? It's Eilish. It's not English. It's Eilish. Oh, I thought it was English. <laughs> Her music is, um, it's that different. shit fire. I like it. That shit fire. Yeah, it's a little different, but I like it. Don't hate me. Blame it on the shit that Pam fucking poured in this cup. It's really good, too. I said Eilish. Sometimes I talk with a, like, a stutter. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I talk with a stutter and shit, so. St- 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 stutter. It's like you were beatboxing a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a stutter. Oh, I, I beatbox. Bruh. Like Biz Marquee. Nah, that's not. <laughs> you don't need no more tequila. You would let Biz Marquee beatbox on that thing. No. No, sir. Ew. No, thank you. I'll pass. I don't want no parts. None. But yeah, so, um, what she got? Song of the Year. Um, she swept the big four. Is record in, record of the year, song of the year, new best new artist, and um, I forgot the other one. I'm gonna have to look it up. Have you ever heard it on the radio? Yeah, no, I you know I'm a, like a fucking fan of music, so I look I know, up a I'm lot of shit. I know, but I'm saying like on the actual radio, I've never heard a song unless I'm tripping. I've never heard a song of hers on the radio. Yeah, I mean, certain artists don't really need to get that radio play. Like, yeah. when Beck went over Beyonce, when Kanye did that wild shit, like, nobody heard that fucking album. That's why yeah. everybody was like, Kanye ain't wrong and shit, you know what I'm saying? Nobody felt like it was the wrong thing, because it was like, who the fuck listened to Beck's album? Obviously, a lot of fucking people. Yeah. Just not us. Our demographic didn't. So, I'm not saying that he should have won that fucking album over Beyonce, but be high, relax. Yeah. I don't want no smoke. Don't get stung. I don't want no fucking smoke with the beehive. But yeah, so she won like the big four and shit, and I, you know I think that's dope. They finally yeah, gave my man Nipsey one. 
I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I mean, I'm glad he got it. Do you think he would have gotten it if he wasn't? To be honest, no. Nah. Do I think he deserved it? Yeah. If he was still alive, yeah. He definitely would have deserved it. But do I think the Grammys would have actually gave it to him? No. No. Maybe he might be right. So it's like, I think every, um, every category that he was nominated in, he ended up winning. So he got two Grammys. He got one for Racks in the Middle. And then him and Khaled and John Legend got one for Higher. I do like that song. That's my shit. Sad fucking song. Yeah. <laughs> like now that you yeah. going and shit, but that's my shit. So yeah. What else? She, oh, she got album of the year too. Sheesh. That's what it was. It was the big four. So it was album of the year, uh, song of the year, and record of the year, and best new artist. Well, damn. She cleaned the fuck up. I see. And, you should have um, gave it to Meg. So um, they gave <laughs> no. Nah, I, I, I like Meg, but I don't think she she definitely deserves something. Yeah, something. But all for album of the year or song Not of the album year, of the year, but song of the year, best new artist. Maybe best new artist. I could see her getting that, but Billie Eilish definitely been like. I didn't know about her though. Like, I mean, before this, like I said, it was. I forgot who it was. One of the girls that I worked with was like, oh, I'm going to a Billie Eilish concert. I'm like, who the fuck? Who is that? <laughs> I didn't even know who she was. Oh, yeah. So. I mean, I um, I think my cousin Rock put me on to him. I think he done. I think that's how I found out. I seen him talking about it one day. And I trust his music ear. So yeah. it's like, all right, let me see who the fuck this nigga talking about. I'm like, oh, I like this little junk. I can't, I can't pull up a lot of places bumping this shit. Niggas gonna be like, yo, what the fuck is going on? But shit, fire. You could. You're one of those. I mean, I listen. Shut the. F I almost told you something. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, I listen to a lot of shit though. Like, I'm excited for this Jesse Reyes album that's dropping in March. And a lot of people just like started finding out about her when that imported shit came out. Didn't she? What award show was it? You know, like, when they have, like, the new artists. What award show was it? There was an award show, and she was singing in the beginning. What is it? Because, um... Was that... The, was, it was an award show. It wasn't the Grammys. It no, it wasn't the, It was the AMAs, I think. It was one of those award shows, because she had a short snippet. And I was like, who is this? She was singing her ass off. Yeah. She, she can fucking sing. And, um, right after that, she got the two songs with Eminem. But remember, a couple. And then who else was it? Juice World was on one of those shows too yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. That's how a lot of them. I ain't gonna say get their start because they obviously on the show, so they already like. Yeah. Halfway solidified to at least to where these people know who they are, but you know that's how a lot of them get their notoriety on a big scale. Hmm. But yeah, um, but no, her album gonna be fire. She's on, she's only dropped EPs, and both of the two EPs she dropped was fire to me. Well, I'm here for it. So. And that's. I do some nasty things to her. <laughs> Not that I'm objectifying her. I got to clear shit up because you can't fucking say yeah. nothing these days. You really can't. People are so <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> you can't say nothing these days. But nah, she's a very fucking beautiful woman. Yeah. And she's dope. Like, I mean, obviously I don't know her, but like the shit I see in like interviews and like her little like videos and shit, like she got a dope ass like personality. Mm. So fuck with personality word big word so yeah did you see the nipsey tribute i did you like it i like kirk franklin <laughs> it took everybody to church for a minute for sure kirk franklin went off yeah he went off he gotta stop this millie rocking shit though like let kirk be i know but let, let, he did it he has to find though. a new dance he's been millie rocking for like five it's years working for him let him do it <laughs> kirk been millie rocking for like five let years now like he gotta he gotta figure some shit out i like that part that was my favorite part i was just waiting for him to come out niggas lucky i can't am i doing it right Nah, i know i ain't doing it right you might want to ask kirk franklin <laughs> he might show you how to do it no, I'm good. Kirk Franklin got them. Uh, somebody had said some shit to him the other day. About his daughter? You seen I've that seen shit? It. I said, whew. I don't he, no told him he, he, he told him he got something that'll help him meet Jesus quicker. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want no smoke with Kirk Franklin, don't. <laughs> That's the realest shit I ever That's seen. That's Fly's brother. 
know. Yeah, they they not brothers. They the same fucking person. When you ever seen them <laughs> niggas in a room together? <laughs> That's real. When the fuck you ever seen? I think there was a post of somewhere with them two next to each other, and they definitely looked alike. I could be wrong. But... Photoshop. I need a video. But then again, niggas video shop shit. So yeah. I need to actually be in a room with both of these niggas. Until then, I don't believe it. Or they got to go on like live or something together. <laughs> like, ain't no way. Them, they the same person. They should make a song. That should be fire. It would be. You couldn't say shit, though, can it? I mean, I, I can say shit, but... <laughs> he couldn't say shit in that song. It'd be a weird song. It might be all right, though. Can you imagine Kirk Franklin on like the remix of Miss Pretty Pussy? But like, <laughs> oh, that is so wrong. Oh my but, god! But switching it to like some some kind of church shit. No, that is just awful. That would be that just wouldn't be good. They could do a song together though. That song used to be the shit though. Yeah, my mom liked that song. I found out about that song from my mama. I like your mama. Oh my god, that song is nasty. The song is literally called Miss Pretty Pussy. Would you think it's not going to be nasty? I wonder if women approach pies like they got to make sure they got like a real, real pretty vagina because you can't just go to plies with an ugly vagina, I would think. It got to be right. So you trying to approach plies with your old pussy? With your no, 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 no. No, I'm just saying, how would you approach him? Like, you have to make sure it's pretty. He made a song about it. Yeah, I mean... He got a couple nasty songs. I he has a lot of. Songs. I used to flourish with in high school. I like the that song. and get you wet. No, with Trina, that I like to fuck. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. It's certain songs that like can take you back to a time. Yeah. That uh, the five oh four boy music. shit. Which one? You ain't got to say. You know that fucking song. From the look in your Why eyes, you I can tell song? you want to fuck. When that song came out, you were like too young to be listening to that. I was never too young to listen to none of that shit. <sighs> hey, I, was, I started early. Did you? I think I lost my virginity like 12, 13. Oh my God. Somewhere around there. Oh my God. I mean, I, I was like almost 17. The reason why I say virginity, because I mean, I was getting hit like early, but that don't count. That don't, oh that don't count, right? That don't count for like virginity, yeah, right? No, it doesn't count, but it's an experience. Oh, it was definitely a fucking experience. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was, that is terrible. It was, it was definitely a fucking experience. But, yeah, I was getting here early. At 12 and 13, you're thinking yeah, about Yeah, because I, I couldn't. No. I ain't going to say I couldn't hump yet, but they won't. A lot of the girls won't hump me yet. And then, like, <laughs> this shit sounds crazy. But, yeah, then, then, like, you know, back in them days, like, the girls that was humping, most of them was ugly as shit. Like most of the think mm, think back to when, your when think I, back no, to the now, jump offs when I didn't really, like my friends like mm -hmm. when I look at them now they weren't even jump offs like I had all pretty friends in middle school like even now seeing them now as grown women they are beautiful. yeah that's, that's what everybody says so no you know how like you got the ones that are like oh in middle school they were bad and then now they're just like no no they are some beautiful women yeah so I can't even say that they were humping but I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't I was a lame one. But, um, you know, you was like dry humping at like five. No, I really wasn't. I, I actually used to sneak and watch porn, not porn. Yes. Yes, I did. I mean, not live. Um, I used to watch. What was your stuff. favorite porn? Big fat apple bottom booties? No, I used to watch, um, real sex and sex spice on HBO. That's not porn. It is. It was all the nasty I stuff. I mean, it was nasty, but that's not fucking porn. I mean, kind of is. It kind of is, but it's not. But um, I mean, I watched all that shit too. I mean, I watched that too. And then, um. Cat House was the closest thing to porn because they was actually fucking up there. Yeah. That was my shit. And then um, Showtime used to have all kinds of nasty movies too. And I just remember like things changing because when I was watching it when I shouldn't have been, they were showing everything on Showtime. Yeah. Like penis and vaginas. And then as I got older and started watching it, they started You realize it wasn't actually shit. going in. Yeah, it wasn't going in. They're just sitting on each other. And I'm like, oh shit. But then they're not showing as much as they used to. Motherfuckers just rubbing then and it, shit. Yeah, it wasn't fun anymore. And I was like, it's got to be something better. So what did it take for you to actually get get not yourself to, to, to realize that that won't it? I don't know. I can't even. I just knew that it wasn't excited anymore. I don't know why you even used to like to watch it. I wasn't doing nothing. Huh? Look at me now. Just nasty. <laughs> just nasty. <laughs> <laughs> just Damn fucking it. nasty. 
But yeah, um, so now nah, what's your favorite porn series? I don't like, have like was, was you because I mean you know back in the day we used to go to the DVD man and no I used to just like sneak and look at like my the nigga in uh, FX I know you remember FX Bills no Bills flea market and shit I wasn't here for you that. was a more you was you a fair price nigga I forgot you what's a fair price <laughs> I wasn't were... even here for that I didn't move to Virginia until two thousand and four so nigga fair price is still over there oh no no I didn't um. I never really, like, I don't even know where I got my porn from. The booty talk was probably, like. Booty talk was that shit. Was the best. And all that ass. Yeah. I think I do have, I may have all that ass DVD somewhere with a number on it. And a little plastic slip cover. Yeah. I got some somewhere. What's your favorite all that ass? 42? No, I can't even think. Because I was more of a booty talk. I don't have that much. I just said booty talk 42. No. It wasn't. It was. The fact that you squinted, the I'm thing, trying to think. Yeah, that because was like a, I, you know you have I know your that, favorite. I know that squint. That was like a, you was really thinking of the number. Yeah. Nah, I just said 42 because that's my old football number. Oh. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> Sometimes. But yeah. Yeah, what? What's wrong? <laughs> I'm waiting on your answer. I don't know. I'm trying to think. If you give me a minute, I really have to think because I'm trying to think about where I was when I was watching it. Oh, no. You already answered. I'm tripping. You said booty talk. Yeah. So I think my favorite was, uh, I don't know. I like I like Sugar Walls. <laughs> sugar Walls is my shit. <laughs> sugar Walls. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Yeah, Sugar Walls. Uh, yeah, I say don't tell any stuff. Who else? I hey, ain't nothing to tell. Um, of course, all that ass. I like the onion booty joints and Bang Bros. I don't like Bang Bros. I, um, I, yeah, I it's, was. It's so scripted to me. Man, it's listen. so scripted. Like it's not. When I was young, mm-hmm. and I seen the van ride past, I used to be mad that them that the van went with the Bang Bros van. I wanted to get kidnapped so bad. Would you do porn? Nah, not now. Why? Hmm. Sex. Tape. I mean, I have sex tapes. But you did that for the free. Yeah. I'm gonna be a manager. Costa. No. <laughs> It, because you just told me that it's it's not real. And that makes me upset that men put on a show for a freaking camera. It upsets me. I it's not. Like that. I didn't say that. I didn't you say that. You said you go extra. That don't mean it's not real. So it's an act. It's not an act. It is definitely it's an not act. It's not an act. Ain't no way. So you it's mean not to tell an me act. that you're going to go a little harder when the camera's on. As soon as it cuts off. No, nah, you still going hard. I mean, I'm still so then going. When you have sex, I'm still going hard. And then when you have, here we go. Then we have <laughs> sex when there's no cameras. I'm grown. <laughs> you don't eat ass. You don't. You're not grown. Okay? I'm grown. Eat some ass then. I'm grown. <laughs> I think so, but I'm just saying, it's an act. It should it's be like that act. all the time. You should give a stellar performance every single time, like cameras are running, not only when the cameras. All are right, running. we gonna let's let's we gonna number one, nobody. I don't give a fuck who you are or how much you like to fuck or how nasty you are. Nobody is giving a stellar performance every single time they have sex. Tell a lie to somebody else. Not you. You're going to go hard. You're going to you can give it your best every time. Yeah, I mean, you go, you can probably have good sex every time, but you're not going to give your a stellar fucking performance every single time you have sex. I think some somebody has. Somebody has. Nah, see. You're gonna you're gonna learn that person's body. You're gonna know what pleases them, and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna you gonna learn them shortcuts. Make them come. Take a and, shortcut. You gonna make them. I ain't taking no shortcuts. What the fuck you think I'm a quickie to find is? Something new. What you think a quickie is? Who has those often? You have those every once in a blue moon. But you said every time. Yeah, I'm not a quickie type person. Keep shit in context. Shit, I am. I'm just saying. Don't roll your, you your fucking neck at me. Don't roll your fucking neck at me. Every time, I want a stellar performance. We gotta give it your all. Every time. People who don't like quickies are whack. 
I'm not saying I don't like it. I just. I think quickies are necessary. Often. I ain't say, obviously every time shouldn't be a quickie. That's that's just bad. That's horrible. <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how many people are here giving out the quickie meat <laughs> all the time. So that's that's horrible. Yeah, sometimes you feel it and you gotta do what you gotta do. But even in that five minutes, you better give it to me. You just look at the camera. Yeah, cause the shit fucking uh oh the card is full. It's over. So we just working off of this right oh. here. <laughs> um. I thought I deleted everything off of the shit, but it is what you it is. Do you have sex tapes on there? No. Oh. They on a hard drive. Where is that? <laughs> so, um. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. So, yeah, um. But, no, I mean. I don't know. What was we talking about? Don't matter. Next subject. <laughs> <laughs> we okay. move on to the next one. Um, oh, I, as a woman, because I definitely want to know how you feel about this fucking Terry Crews shit. I mean, I feel like I know, but, you know, I want to know, no. He's a fucking simp. He should stand up for them, I think. Like, I honestly feel like... I think he's going for the money. I think he's... I don't think he's being true to himself. I think he knows what the truth is, but I think that that money is calling him and he's going to say what he thinks is going to keep him employed or possibly get him a job or whatever. I just know that... Oh, my God. Blowing up. She popular. Um, she awesome. ready. The one time Dre calls and Kyle's in she here. She ready. Kyle, where you at? <laughs> Fuck is you at? But, yeah, no. Terry Crews, I'm just... I don't... When I watch it, I just didn't agree with him at all. I was just so disappointed. Yeah, but this is the same nigga like motherfuckers stood by him when he, he was got fucking. Raped and... <laughs> he, he, we got, he didn't get raped. He got touched. He got molested. Did they grab his, his penis and his butt? <laughs> I mean, we probably don't even know the true story. It's not a joke. But he got, you know, he got touched. <laughs> but yeah, you can't black just women rape. like had you can't his just back. Just throw rape on a nigga name. Well, I didn't mean rape. Right. I'm sorry. What what is the word? Molested or no? That's See, he can't. Get, he didn't get molested. He's a grown man. So what is it? Inappropriate. I don't touched? think molestation is just for kids. You should just die if you molest a kid. But I don't know. I think what it, he got touched inappropriately. He got sexually fucking assaulted. assaulted. Whatever yeah, there the fuck. you go. We'll take that. But um, yeah, black women had his back when he came out. When people were cracking jokes and everything mm -hmm. else. That's who had his back. He should have had theirs too. Yeah, but if you know, and then he said some sucker shit like, um, the only woman he has to please is his wife. Yeah. Which is like, I mean, no, I agree with him. Out outside of this situation, I agree hundred percent. But like, why the fuck would you bring? Why would you say that in this? Because you talking about another woman, which is a Gabrielle Union. Like, yeah, I don't got to please her. Like, yeah, the only woman I got to fucking please is my wife. But, like, why the fuck would that even be part of the, you know what I'm True, saying? I think he was just defensive. But I do agree with him. He don't got to please nobody. But, but then he said his wife told him not to make a statement. But he made a fucking statement anyway. He just need to sit his ass down. Yeah. So he going he gonna to be canceled soon. Yeah. You know this cancel culture. <laughs> yeah. We ain't cancel it's, culture, especially if you black and you ain't for the people. Hmm. They gonna get you the fuck up out of here. But How I mean, do you, you feel know, about it? of course. Um, I feel like he should have just had her back. That, that's what America's Got Talent want, though. They want a tap dancing nigga. Yeah. That's what they want. Ever since white chicks. Yeah, they want fucking um, Samuel L. Jackson from Django. That's what they want. That's sad. And that's what he obviously doesn't mind being no. for them. And I'm like, you look like a fucking puppet, bro. You should have their back. Period. Wrong is wrong. No amount of money. Yeah. So. Should be worth that. So. If everybody doesn't think like that. Nah. But, you know, some some people you can't put a price tag on integrity. But obviously, I mean, we, we knew then, like, when the, when the dude touched on him or whatever, he shut the fuck up for that bread. Yeah. Because he didn't want to ruin his career. But once he got solidified enough in a certain aspect, this nigga, he ain't mind speaking about it. Right. 
know what I'm saying? But now it's like another black woman who needs a voice as big as yours. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not going to stand up, all right, that's cool. If you want if you want some shit with, that's like, yo, yo, that ain't got shit to do with me. I'm out of it. Just stay all the way the fuck out of yep. it. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like completely. Like don't make nothing. Don't make no statements on it. I'm feeling that. When they ask you about it, like yo, sh- hey look, I don't. Yeah, I don't no comment. Cars, no comment. No comment. Yeah, he's definitely gonna get canceled. Yeah. But he they they about to cut this nigga probably like a fucking twenty thirty million dollar check for for not commenting on that True. shit. Cause what they got rid of Nick Cannon, then they got rid of Gabrielle Union. Oh, Ted Cruz is the perfect uh. Motherfucking, what's his name from uh, Snowball? Ain't that what they called him, Snowball from Django? Tanya Jackson character. I cannot. Who that nigga up there on that nag? <laughs> Who that nigga up there on that nag? That's gonna be Terry Crews. Yeah, he's canceled. He been the same since White Chicks. Yeah, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. So, um. Next subject, speaking while we're talking about molestation and nasty niggas and all that shit. So, uh, Nicki Minaj's brother just got sentenced 25 to life. Good. So. I think it kind of sucks for her to be in that situation because that's her brother. But he's yeah. wrong. So. But he did it. So, they say, um, just in case I stutter. <laughs> I gotta get a. I'm, I'm a little drunk, so I don't want motherfuckers to think I can't I read. Put that no, much I'm just in talking there. about. You think this is my? Fr- <laughs> you think I just started just wow, now? Wow, we supposed to be drinking together. Locked <laughs> up. You think I just started? But yeah, so I don't want motherfuckers to think I can't read, and it'd be like on a little word I'm stumbling on. Oh, okay. Instead of like does like te-he? Is it te-he? Not te-he. Oh te 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 Job that says the yeah that's what the fuck I was trying to say. Wow. <laughs> but no, the brother of Racky, <laughs> Racky. See, I told you I'm drawing fucked up. All right, let me stop playing. Let me, <laughs> let me stop playing. <laughs> the bro- the brother of Rappy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The brother of rapper Nicki Minaj was sentenced Monday to 25 years of life in prison for sexually assaulting an 11-year-old girl at his Long Island home. A judge convicted Jelani Mirage of predatory sexual assault and child endangerment on, in November 2017. The victim testified during the trial that Mirage repeatedly raped her in 2015 while her mother was at work. He deserved all that. Yeah. They said prosecutors have said DNA evidence recovered from the girl's pajama pants was linked to Mirage. The girl's younger brother also testified at the trial that he witnessed one assault. Mirage's attorney appealed conviction in 2018, claiming that there was jury misconduct. The judge ruled in October that the defense did not meet the necessary burden or proof. He deserves that. He definitely deserves that. I mean, there's no way around that. There's no way to justify any of that. 11 year old fucking girl First how the, of all, why how the is fuck is nobody around pants? what the fuck are you doing i can't don't like not, no i'm not even trying to be funny with that it's just like, like yo, i don't understand like <laughs> i don't know how the nigga's still alive he won't be like unless they have him like in solitary somewhere it's ass they don't no i mean if it was like my family yeah he wouldn't have made it he wouldn't have made it to jail. Period. Or if That's he if he did, he probably would have been like paralyzed or something. Like I would have I would have I would have been in a penitentiary. You just met my daddy. He wouldn't have made it. <laughs> wouldn't have made it. And I have uncles ten times crazier than my yeah. father. He definitely wouldn't have made it. At all. So he deserves I mean, all that time that he gets, and I hope he thinks about it every single day when he's in there. I mean, he won't think about it when he was fucking doing it. Well, somebody gonna take his ass off when he in there. Probably with a nigga like anyway. I feel like all them pedophile niggas are sick. They are. He definitely needs to be like chemically castrated. They should. That should be a thing now. I was talking to my mom about it. I think it should be a thing. I think that if you 
sexually assault somebody, you molest somebody, any of these things, you should be chemically castrated. So what's the chemical? Does um, it like take the pain away? No, you can only use your penis to pee. You will not be able to get an erection. Ever. That's it. Mm. You can only use it to pee. That's it. Nothing else. And when you say chemical, I'm thinking like they dip it in lye. No, it's, you see, you keep it. Or They're like, not cutting it off. I'm not, that's why I said chemical. Give enough. them whatever they give them. That ain't enough. You doing some shit to, to little fucking 11 year old kids. I mean, or any year old fucking minor. Like, nah, I be. I mean, they can cut it off. Things should be paralyzed. Some kind of way. You still do shit when you're paralyzed. I feel like take that part away from you. Ah, no, if, if a nigga paralyzed and I'm in jail with him. I'm a, every time I walk past, I'm gonna just flip his fucking wheelchair over and just roll that shit down the hallway. Damn. Every time. That's harsh. Like every time I see this nigga, I'm gonna flip him out of his fucking wheelchair and roll that shit down the hallway. Damn. I ain't gonna beat him up. That's just me. I ain't. You in there for fucking with a little kid? I don't give yeah. a fuck about being mean. Nah, no, I feel you on that. And I might stomp on his fingers. Like while just he down. Him. Nah. You kill him, dead men don't learn no fucking lesson. What are you going to know? If you torture him a little he bit. Had, even if you torture him, guess what? You kill him, that torture comes to an end. Well, you torture him until they die. But he <laughs> he dies. So I'm trying to hold my composure because we're talking about something serious. But this thumping next door is crazy. But yeah, I mean, but he dies though. So at the end of the day, like the torture comes to an end. So the, the nigga's at peace. Yeah. He's still fucking at peace because he's dead. It wouldn't be a piece because I would torture them. They would suffer. No, I feel like, yeah, but after that torture, that's what I'm trying to say. So well, after they're not you... going to go meet Jesus, so they're going to go. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get into that conversation, but yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that conversation, but yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I feel like that's why I'm not really a fan of the death penalty. Like, nah, leave, let these niggas live You long, know, people, there have been long, a few people that actually need it. hard fucking lives. Some people actually get that whatever they put in their IV and they live through it and then they get released from prison. Yeah. There have been two people that I know of. Yeah. So I know so that don't even work. Yeah, but I don't I mean, that's why. That's what I'm saying. So the death penalty, uh, let these niggas live to they ninety, but just like just every day just walk in there and just like smack they f bottom of their feet with a hammer for like an hour well, the way, and then walk off. The way like prisons used to be. Like back in the day they had to stop that because people were going crazy in jail. Fuck 'em. Yeah, not all the like, like cause I know a lot of people in jail ain't like supposed to be in there and like you know what I'm saying there's some fucked up conditions like the shit that's going down in uh like Mississippi and shit like that. But I'm talking I'm just specifically speaking about these people. These yeah. fucking pedophiles and like these motherfuckers. Them, like in a prison by themselves. Yeah. I mean I put them in general population. I feel like I they, would put them in a prison. I feel like themselves. they shouldn't. I would put them in a prison with the fucking like the the killers. Yeah. And I would put them in general population. Fuck that protective custody shit. Whatever happened to them, happened to them. How much you? Because I mean, it's like yo, you, a kid can't get that innocence back. Yeah, no, and they fucked for life after that. Yeah, that shit traumatizes. Like I mean, some people eventually bounce back and kind of kind of get they it, that's what i'm saying like some people can kind of uh get closure on the situation i guess and you know what i'm saying but then there's some people that they never get that closure like they f end up getting married and having kids and they still there's still certain shit they can't do with their husbands or whatever because of what happened to them you know what i'm saying so yeah. that shit is fucked up so yeah i don't feel sorry for him i don't Hello. it don't matter if he's fucking who brother he is yeah i feel you so, he could be fucking anybody's brother. Give a fuck if it was one of the Jackson Five. Like my nigga, that's like that's that's five. Be Michael Jackson brother, Michael Jordan brother. It don't matter just because it's yeah. her. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it just happened to be her brother. I'm happy. He probably won't get out. He's not getting out. No. Nah. He's not getting out. So. So, that's what we got. Fucking sick ass nigga. Yeah. So what is your topic for this week, ma'am? Before did we you, give our final thoughts. Did you see the post? I sent it to you. Do you think that men are meant for one woman? 
Do you remember that? <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I ain't gonna lie. And be I, completely honest. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't read the whole thing. You didn't watch it? You have to watch it. Oh, you talking about the shit that you sent and I had sent a different video back. You talking yeah. about that shit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, I think um, I read somewhere that, um, which one is which one is just one person? I know polygamy is multiple. Monogamous. I couldn't. Just yeah, one. I couldn't. I couldn't get it out, and I didn't want to say some stupid and then I shit. Think, uh, yeah, no, that's what it's. So monogamous relationships. I knew. I just couldn't. You know how you be having something like on the tip of your yeah. tongue, you can't get it out. Yeah. So, um, I've heard that like you know that even. Like back in the day, like the kings and queens, like they would have concubines and shit. That's what the queen's job was to train. Yeah, so concubines to please her husband. That's the whole thing. But I guess it wasn't until like I guess Christianity came along that it was one man, one woman. That's it. No extra. If you get an extra woman or extra man, it's cheating and you're going to hell. Yeah. That's pretty much what the Bible say. Like, what do you think though? Do you see yourself at the end of the day? Are you can you be with just one woman? I think I could. No cheating. Yeah, um, I, think, I don't cheat anyway. I wouldn't put it past you like you cheated before. But I'm <laughs> saying, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Are you supposed to accept it and say like, hey, I know he's going to cheat eventually anyway. So let him go ahead and have this other person. Or like, I mean, you're supposed to go into it thinking like, you know what? He's just going to be with me. But you have to also put in the back of your mind that it's a possibility that that person is going to be with somebody else too. So should you just accept it from the beginning and let them do their thing, be in an open relationship? Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, everybody's not everybody's not built for open relationships too. I don't like to share. That's so. what I'm saying. So it's like, all right, prime example, like the conversation we had last show about threesomes. You said you was down for threesomes, and then we literally There's listed rules. Everything that, that you do in a threesome, you was like, nah, I'm not with it. So you're not even having a threesome, really. Yeah, I'm just. So that's know. the whole thing. So it's a lot of people. It's a lot of women. That's pretty much the same way. Yeah, I'm selfish. I think when I was younger, like I said, when I did have that threesome, it was completely different. I wasn't a stranger. This was somebody that I had known for years. Yeah. You know, so it was, I mean, there wasn't really no rules. Yeah, but, but I mean, at the same time, it's like. You know, I mean, and that's what a lot of people think polygamy is, is one big fucking threesome. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> they think, it's, they it's think not. that too. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I, I feel like a lot of American women ain't with it. And they I don't want to. And, and even like I see little conversations on like Twitter and shit, like the back and forth. And a lot of them don't want to understand what polygamy actually is because they got the preconceived notion in their mind that it's a fucking threesome. Yeah. It's bigger than sex. And then, you know, on the one hand, it's like, oh, well, he's getting on your nerves, you know? Yeah. He can go and get on her nerves. I'm like, my nigga don't get on my nerves that much that I want him to go entertain somebody else. So, I don't know. I guess I kind of get it. Because I guess if you put in your mind, like, yo, he may possibly step out, then you, I don't know. It's, it's just, it's hard. I guess it just depends on the people. I, for one, don't like to share. I don't see myself, like. Me waking up in the morning like, hey, husband and other wife, you, you want some <laughs> breakfast? Fuck no. Like, I can't do it. Yeah, I mean. It I, just depends. It really, really just depends on the situation. I could go either way. Yeah. It, it, like I said, it really just depends. It's, it's kind of hard. Because it's like, I know a lot of people who, um, I ain't gonna say I know a lot of people, but. I know of a lot of people, and I know a few people who live that life, and everybody really actually yeah, are, I know are happy. Yeah, I live that life too. And pe and they actually are happy. Yeah. Financially, they good. Yeah. And obviously, you know, sexually, they good. But you know, that's that's what everybody think anyway. But yeah, they you know, think it's just one big three. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, sexually, they're gonna be good. But um, financially, they good. They emotionally straight. They appear to be mentally straight. I don't think that's where that lifestyle for somebody with children. That's too unless, much. Unless that's like the norm. Unless you like in a community where that's like the normal thing. Yeah. Like, obviously, like you can't fucking just in America, especially, you can't fucking, hey, these are my kids, this is my wife, but hey, this is y'all other mommy too. 
and your kids is like five or six. <laughs> And then they go to school like, yeah, I got two mommies and da-da-da. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a lot of ridicule that comes with a lot of shit. But no. Say, but a lot of places, it's, it is the norm. So they don't even, they don't they don't bat an eye. They don't even think twice about but it. But you don't see it the other way around. You don't see a woman with two husbands. You always see a man with two wives, two girlfriends. You know, hey, something. Man. You never see the other way around. It, it's weird. I have never I'm, seen that. I don't know. I might sound like a fucking... You little, share? A little misogynist, but certain double standards I'm cool with. And that's one of them. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I could have, first of all. No, that's I mean, what I'm saying. I might know. They might say I'm misogynistic or whatever the case, but certain double standards I, I stand by. Because we know and, most and women. That's, that's one of them. You got, like, the dude that gives you food, the one that says good morning all the time, the one that fucks you. You know what I mean? You have all these different men for different things. So, if it's okay for a man to have two girlfriends let me get me another dude too on the side yeah man it's like that, that, that i mean if i'm honest i don't see what the problem is that it's like mean. that old saying go a fucking um a key that can unlo- unopen any lock is the master key but a lock that can be opened by any key is a shitty fucking lock yeah that's what i'm uh, like I said, certain double standards, I stand by. So you're okay with two girl, you a wife and a girlfriend, but you don't want to be husband number two. Dog, what the fuck I look like? <laughs> Coming, hey, what up, dog? Hey, what's good, my nigga? Heard you putting it down in there last night, girl. I'm, I'm going in there tonight. It should be okay all the way around, yeah. all across the board. If you can do it, you okay. said should be. But like I said, certain double standards. I'm, I'm just saying, if it's, if <laughs> certain you double it, standards, I hey, I'm I, I'm cool with. Just saying. I ain't, I ain't saying they right. I'm just saying they right for me. <laughs> Certain double standards. I can see is, you with two two girls, a wife and a girlfriend. I could definitely see you in that lifestyle. I mean, they wouldn't know about each other. They wouldn't know? I said they would. They wouldn't know about each other. Oh, I believe yeah. that too. Yeah, I, I probably had one of them picking the other one up from work and then some old shit. Like y'all, I don't feel like I don't feel like driving. Go pick Pam up for me. Don't play with me. <laughs> don't play with me. <laughs> don't fucking play with me. I'm not sharing. I think a threesome would be cool, but no, we not having a whole relationship with no other bitch. Yeah, but it's it's not just sex though. It's it's everything. It's time, attention sex and then y'all business partners on top of that well we can keep it there i just don't i'm not sharing yo they even got beds that's like mad big like double kings and shit now. The foot. it's like a double king yeah she sleep her ass at the foot i just can't i don't share like now that i'm thinking about it i'm not okay with that now i'm not sharing what's mine is mine okay yeah it's like a double king so you can't you ain't be in a double king with it? <laughs> no. fuck no so no. you ain't trying to be in the double king unless you got two kings. He's a nasty. Yes. Nah, that's crazy. Give me the two kings. I don't want no DP, but I'll take two kings. That's crazy. I don't know my damn for the DP, but I'll take two kings. What you think they're going to try? If them niggas are cool they're with... They're not going to try DP. <laughs> niggas don't if, want their balls smacking each other's If balls. them niggas is cool with being fucking brother husbands or whatever the fuck you call them. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, God. Not even being funny. But <laughs> I swear I've definitely been a goat because I've had niggas around like other people. Like and both try to talk to me and they didn't even know. Yeah, you so, look like you threw you throw kickbacks. No, no, I would and, never. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like I've you look had like two, you throw kickbacks and like I will invite two. Dudes it's a nigga to, that you fuck with that you ain't be, let beat yet, and a nigga that you have let beat, and yes, you invite them both. Yes, I have definitely done that. And the nigga that you fuck with, you will see him off. But the nigga, that's the thing. I want if we. And you will let the nigga that's been beaten beat that same night, and then the nigga that you fuck with come pick you up the next morning for brunch and shit. Yes. Use a uh, evil world we but live in. But I'm just in. saying, I've never, it's I've never evil had. World like, we if, live in. If I fuck with you before, I'm not gonna have you around my current nigga or nothing. But if I'm talking to one and the other one is interested, and I know you damn sure ain't trying to be my friend. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, chicks like. I think they know better than to have me around a new nigga. Yeah. 
Because first off, my mentality probably going to be the nigga can't beat me up so I can say what the fuck Why I want to say. Why do all say. men say that? It can't beat me. Like, what? I mean, you're supposed to have that mentality. That's the fucking Somebody mama. can beat you up. That's the. It's not the fact that somebody can or can't. Even Tyson and fucking Ali has been knocked out before. But the point is, I'm not going to go into a room like, yo, I know he can beat my ass. No. Yeah, the no. Fuck? I feel you. <laughs> like, nah, hell no. Nah. But it's like, yo, did she do the gripper on you? All that. And That's you, petty. And you can take out you want to take it after that. That's petty as hell. That's like, yeah, so petty. I told her that, my nigga. <laughs> That's petty. Oh, yeah, I told her that. That's so petty. You're welcome. So petty. <laughs> that is so petty. It's not even funny. It's petty as fuck. Nah, I'm too, I don't know. I think I'm too nonchalant. So I don't, I just, I stopped giving a fuck. I wouldn't show up though. Like, yeah, I'm cool. Or if the vibe ain't right, I'm out. Yeah, I mean, that should be anybody. Though. Or, I don't know. Sometimes I do have a petty street. So, I think I might invite a joint to your kickback that you invited me to. Yeah. I've done that, too. Like, yo, Pam, this is uh, such and such. I'd be like, hey, you want a drink? Yeah. Girl, Please. Some fucking aristocrat. That's fucked up. I'm like, nah, I got her. <laughs> I'm gonna pull a, I'm gonna pull a Duce out the bag. Want some trash ass liquor here? You put the bottom shelf. I'm gonna pull a Don Julio out, like here. Yeah. Oh, that's rude. I'm gonna pull a Don. Like, nah, Don she, Julio. she good, she good. I got this Don Julio for. Her. Yo, speaking of liquor. Uh oh. <laughs> what was your wildest like era? Like, which liquor? Cause you know every liquor had its era, so it was like. I know for us, like, high school was, like, 99 whatever fruit. And um, E&J and Paul Masson, and then you got a little older. It was, um... Mine wasn't even a liquor. It was, like, the juice for loco. Yeah, that's time. what I was going to say. So then yeah. we went from we went from the 99 fruit, whatever fruit. I was a 99 apples, nigga. <laughs> and, uh, Dre was a 99 bananas. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I, f- I fucking bet Dre, <laughs> Dre was, was 90, fucking 99, 99 bananas. bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking bet she was. Kyle's gonna listen to this and be mad he ain't. He yep, couldn't. and she f- called too. <laughs> he gonna be mad she he can't comment on the 99 banana shit with Dre. But yeah, so then it was that. Then it was the juice for a loco when it was killing people. This was before. See, I was. That's what I'm saying. Was, when it was this, when it was killing motherfuckers. Before it started killing people. Yeah, that's and, when I. And then, that was my. No, I was drinking it. Like before and during people dying, because I remember, yo, I specifically remember me and Doc. That's that would that would be our Friday night ritual. Know what I'm saying, niggas would scrape up whatever money we could scrape up at the time, go to the store get the shit, and I remember they said they were gonna start selling it, and I remember me and Doc went and bought like ten of them shits, because we thought they was gonna take them off the shelf. Yeah. So we didn't even give a fuck about the juice no more, because we we was on the four logos now. I just remember. <laughs> It was a grape for loco. I remember. We did the grape and we did the first shit was like the red shit. I did some strange, yeah, the red and that shit. Ugh. I did some strange shit for the juice. Yeah. I mean, not the juice, the grape for loco. And after that, I danced for who I was talking to. <laughs> I'll never forget that night to Drake so far gone the whole mixtape. <laughs> and after that, I said, you know what? I'm leaving this shit the fuck alone, and that was it for me. I ain't drinking after that. Yeah. This nigga said, you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> well, not drinking that anymore. That was it for me. That's when people started dying after that. But that's because people were mixing shit, remember? Putting shit, Belvedere and all kinds of shit in it. They were mixing it, so that's what I mean, we dying. was mixing it too, but we didn't give a fuck. I didn't mix it. Nigga, we did whatever. That and, uh... And then, uh, you know, niggas got older and then, like, Syrah dropped. So niggas was Syrah boy. I was never a Syrah boy. No, nah, because when I La Maritas came out... But that was See, after, that was after the Syrah wave, though. La Maritas ain't really that old. La Maritas is 2012. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ciroc was like fucking 08, 09, yeah. 2000. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm listening to you with liquor and I'm over here drinking this bottom shelf shit from the Teeny Giant. This is my <laughs> life. This is what, this is what does it for me. This cheap shit. <laughs> fucking La Maritas. No, I mean, I've had my, my Cisco nights and shit, but I think my wildest, the, my wildest. And Carlos era, Rossi. Did you ever have a Carlos Rossi night? I don't think so. I think my wildest era was the 99 Apple era because I was still no, in high school. For me, it was I was in high school and that was loco. all I could afford because I won't, I won't fucking with I weed and none of that shit. Drink, then, so, um, a little like bit in high it. school. 
um I was getting fucked up. In I had high like they had, when Smirnoff had that twisted <laughs> bottle, it was like some twisted raspberry in the bottle. The top of it had like a little twist in it. I, I remember know. them shits. That shit fucked shits. me up, and I was like seventeen. I was like, you know what? I'm not drinking again, and I waited until I was twenty one. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, and then um, blue, oh, like the sky vodka. Oh my god, I'm such a lush. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> then when I turned twenty one, we were drinking the. Like Bacardi had those mixed drinks and they had like the hurricane and the I remember those. Yeah. Yeah. We were drinking those, putting a straw in that bitch and just drinking it. I remember they the used bottle. to have a Jack Daniels. It was an actual uh whiskey and coke. Oh. And they won't a malt. It was actually whiskey and coke. They sold them in the fucking Getty Mart across from Green Run. Very good. It was yeah, it was because it was really w- actually whiskey and coke. It was an mm. actual mixed drink. So you know like even the them them shits, they actually not really whiskey. It's like the malt shit. The yeah. Malt liquor, you know what I'm saying? But this shit was actually like mm. Jack Daniels and fucking Coke that they had mixed up. Mm. It was I like ten dollars for four of them and it was small. But those shits was I spent like thirty dollars on them shits instead of going to fucking buy a bottle. Been smack for a while. Probably since I was like fifteen. Wow. Fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, I was older than my age when I was young. Oh, I didn't do all that. Yeah. I was still super innocent then. I was living a grown man life at a young age. No, not me. Damn. <laughs> Didn't know that about you. I was living a grown man life. I see. Yeah. So, and the, and the crazy thing, like, that's why I say, I don't know. So, the, I think the wildest era, if we not dating just years, just liquor eras, I think it was the black era. When like everything black was dropping, like absolute black, black gin. Like remember all that shit started Ooh. dropping like back to back. I think Ooh, it was like Seagram's between black. like that's two thousand eight. Yeah, two thousand seven and two thousand nine. Oh. It was fucking absolute yes. black. The fucking Seagram's black gin. It was fucking black this black that. Everything was coming out in black. Yeah. And oh, I remember that Seagram's black. I had a. Uh, my I philosophy was me and this nigga Mike. <laughs> every time, every time something black came out, we we had to get two bottles, one for him and one for me, because niggas remember. was gonna drink a whole bottle to the face, a fifth, every Friday I night. Remember, sheesh. And that was the thing. So look, this is the crazy shit. So what we used to do, we used to get the bottles, get right, and go on MySpace. Because you remember on MySpace, you can do the search like within five miles from you. Yeah. Pluck them. I met a just boyfriend like that. like that. No, that's what you used to do. I met a boyfriend. I met my cuddy like that off of five, MySpace. Where you put the little five mile shit in, five mile radius. Right up. Hit the online now. Whoever Had was a little online. face right there on the Yeah, <laughs> online now. Oh, she cute. Click, boom. Inbox. Nigga, I got one. Bet. Send her the address. Tell her don't come Damn. with no foolishness because we our own security in here. Damn, MySpace was great. MySpace was the shit. You it can't was. do that on Facebook. No, you can't. <laughs> and you can't even put music on your page. I don't want to put music on my page. That shit used to freeze up everybody's fucking computer, but it was yeah. great. I don't want to put music on my page on Facebook because background. I feel like I'm going to go on somebody's page and I'm going to buck because I'm going to feel like they sub music in me. Because that's all MySpace used to be. Hell hypothetically, yeah. hypothetically, it, I ain't got no, no beef. <laughs> I ain't got no jinx. I ain't got no jinx that I that I got to worry about doing. That. But I'm just saying, definitely, that's exactly what it's yeah. for. Especially when you had your top eight. Oh, bitch, you pissed me off. You ain't even in my oh, top eight. If they no put more. a top eight on Facebook, it's over. I'm not. I'm not making one. I kind of feel like they do already. Like in your mutual friends, kind of sorta. Yeah. Oh yeah. When you click friends and it's like yeah, you see all the people. That's, the the, the yeah. people that's right there. But yeah, no, nah, I feel like. Because people are already fucking emotional on Facebook anyway. Can you imagine if they put a fucking top eight up there? God, somebody ain't going to make it. <laughs> I would be salty. Like, why am I in your top eight? And who is this? Yeah, especially if it's like you get somebody top eight and then there's a, another jank in there. Yep. Especially if it's a jank that she never met. Facts. And she might be like cute. Oh, bitch. I'm oh, she going to be cute. I ain't putting no ugly bitch. Off. Who the fuck is this Put no ugly joint in my top eight. <laughs> <laughs> I go off. I learned the cheat code though, so like, I think my top, I think my top eight was uh. Did you put famous people? In yep. It? Oh my god! It was. I would hate. It you. was dead ass, and not just because he passed. It was fucking. It was Kobe, um, Mike Tyson, <laughs> like Tom. like four or five Instagram, well not Instagram, but you know what I'm saying, like four or five MySpace, the bad 
MySpace models. I don't know if you could call them models back then. Like, was Tamaya recent and Tila Tequila considered models? They wasn't in my top eight, but I'm just saying they like the yeah. famous. They like the two most famous people from MySpace. Yeah. But yeah, it was like Melissa Ford and fucking like all of them. So I ain't had to worry about no beef on my. God, those are the good old days. And it was just mad gang shit on my shit too. I was the biggest gangster ever. Come on, I was I was a thug. I turned Everybody thug. was thugging on my space. I was definitely a thug. I remember like I made a blog because this girl was talking about me. She was dating my boyfriend at the time and she was a side chick. And she knew she was a side chick. And I like, of course, did my digging. That's when my FBI phase started. But yeah, did my digging and I went to her page and I was like, you're a side bitch. You will always be a side bitch. And if you ever get married, your marriage is going to fail because you're not meant to be a wife. You're meant to be a side bitch. <laughs> and you know what happened? She got married and her marriage failed. And as soon as it failed, I went and I trolled her ass again. Like, bitch, I told you your marriage wasn't going to last. You ain't shit. I was mean. And then I think, yeah, I was a little gangster at that time too because then that's when Twitter like started being a thing. And then I was at her. I used to tag her ass. Like, I used to at that bitch. Like, I'm talking about you, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Not now. I'm so Speaking of now. Twitter beef, I don't know if you remember, yo. If you was there for the fat ream, the fat ream times. I don't think so. The nigga, I think that was the nigga name. Where he was beefing with the whole 757. And <laughs> he was tweeting niggas his address out pop place. Telling him I don't pop. know. I don't remember him. I just remember Zeus crazy ass. Yeah. And you. Shout out to you Zoo. have no filter. Shout out to Zoo. And Zoo. I was different then. I'm way more no I'm way more calm. filter. I was like, oh calm. my God, who was this guy? And I think it was a retweet. And I was like, what the hell? I'm way more. Like, once this shit blows up and I get, yeah, they're definitely going. My old tweets, if they dig my old tweets up. They better dig my old shit up. I ain't going to make it. I'm they cooked. dig my old shit up. I'm canceled. I'm cooked. <laughs> oh God, I'm cooked. I swear I am. I know I'm cooked. <laughs> my old things is terrible. Like every prominent community in in fucking in the world right now is gonna cancel. Me. I talked some trash on Twitter. I know I did. Yeah, like, and I'm talking about we only had a few characters. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. One forty, one forty or less. Yo, I used to talk some trash, and I know I did because you know how like you could share it after a while. I get shared yeah. on Facebook. So I know because when I see some of my old tweets, I'm like, oh my yeah. God, I have no filter. None. You better go through and like type in the keyword and just delete every tweet that come Man, up with that I keyword. I can't even get on my old Twitter, but I know I'm canceled. I'm definitely canceled. Yeah, they, I know for a it's fact they're going to get me. me the fuck out of here. Because it, it was reckless. My mouth was super reckless. Yeah, that's Twitter. like, all right, can you imagine like some shit? What's some, what's some like big shit that, that wasn't like a death or something all right can you imagine like in 2010 2011 if little Nas x like came out then bro like what twitter would have been like what they would have did on twitter they would have fried his ass like terribly like now you know they still kind of it was a couple memes it was memes up. and jokes here and there but well no i can't use little Nas x because he he got thick skin because he used to be a troll so he know how to deal with that shit so I'm trying to think of somebody else or something else. Like, well, shit. I mean, anything really, because niggas didn't care. Yeah. Like motherfuckers was dying and yeah, niggas. Nobody was, gave no fucks. Niggas was going in on niggas' deaths yeah. and shit. So. Yeah. Oh, you remember the tape? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we still don't know. Who has the tape? I think Zeus said he knows who got the tape, right? I don't think the tape was real. I think the tape was real. I definitely think the tape was real. I ain't one of them niggas like a politician or some shit now. It's, it's I'm not giving. I'm, I'm not, not giving a nigga no kind of. Um, any of that. I just know that. Nah, he, um, I'm not giving a nigga no kind of shine on my shit because I don't fuck with homie. But I don't have any beef with them. But I know. I there's some truth. That tape is real. Everybody, no man. The tape was real. I don't know. What? Well, oh nah, the list. Remember the list. No. Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the 757 has had some shit. It was the tape, the list. And I don't understand how I made the list because I'm not a hoe. I wasn't one of the man hoes. I don't know how I made that list. <laughs> Even back then, I was I was always been wholesome, like a saint. Ho. Whole. Some. Wholesome. Heard that. I'm country, man. Well, I'm, I ain't country like down you south country, wholesome. but... 
I said wholesome. Ho. It's Ho- okay. No judgment. I don't know how to roll my L's and shit. Hold the <laughs> You don't know how to use your tongue? Oh, I definitely know how to use my tongue. But <laughs> I can roll my R's. I can roll my R's, though. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Camera can't see me. I'm tripping. <laughs> but, but yeah, I don't know. But nah, it was a different list, though. That shit was wild. We had, some, yo, I, even though we probably the smallest population as far as Twitter go, I think, I don't think no Twitter is fucking with 757 Twitter at no. that back then. No, definitely not back then. Because you gotta, I'm trying to think, even when I gone home to Arizona or gone to Charlotte to visit. Like, we went viral more than LA Twitter, yeah. more than New York Twitter, more than Philly Twitter, yeah. more than down South Twitter, like. 757 Twitter was always going viral for something. Yeah. And that was before being viral was a thing. Right. That's We just call it tweet blew up. Niggas always, the tweet blew up for something. Yeah. Wow. Seven, shout out to 757 Twitter, man. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. And Twitter after dark used to get real. Do you remember? Oh, I, yeah. God, Twitter after dark. You should be like, oh, y'all nasty as fuck on here. Let me, uh, I gotta go, y'all. It's time for Twitter after dark. <laughs> I think that's how I met you, ain't it? <laughs> no, I think I met you off of a retweet because it was something reckless that you said. And I started following. I was like, this dude don't have no filter at all. I ain't that bad. History. Yeah, you didn't have no chill. I ain't that bad. None. I ain't that bad. You still don't have no chill. I ain't that bad. You don't have no shit. <laughs> anyway. So, um, we just want to say fuck you, Kyle. Yeah, for leaving us. We should jump him. Yeah. We should really jump this nigga. We are. And we're going to force you to drink tequila. Lots of it next time we see you. A lot of it. Like a whole lot. And I'm going to make sure that Andrea comes here and then she leaves. Real quick. She gonna come moon him. Yep. <laughs> she, gonna, she gonna moon him and leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that nigga gonna go crazy. If you say so. Oh. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Yo, I hope the mic picked that shit up. <laughs> Did that just happen? <laughs> Yo, I hope the mic picked that shit up. What the fuck? <laughs> that was weird. Did you hear that? I know you heard that. If you say so, I don't know what it was though. This nigga house is rigged. This yo. nigga house is yo. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I don't want no smoke. Wow. <laughs> yo, so <laughs> I can't even. What the. <laughs> Yo, call this nigga right now. Oh God! Yo, like, hold on. I got. I'm. A, hold on. Let me get the. Um, yo, let me let me get this shit right real quick. <laughs> Cause we about to call this nigga Kyle and um, figure out what the fuck. What is going on? Figure out what the fuck is going on in his home. This nigga got shit just talking. And that sh- that shit was like right on. Like, it was on, on time. point though. Like yeah, if you say so. Like. We see what the fuck. I hope that picked that up because people gonna think me crazy. <laughs> that shit had to. <laughs> I'm still in shock right now. What the hell? I hope they don't think we did that shit or something. We and did it. There's no way. No, that's what I'm saying. Right I'm, I hope they don't like, think we did it, and we just fucking. Wow. <laughs> Nigga, yo Alexa ain't here talking And I ain't with her shit Let me call this nigga You better answer Of course he ain't gonna pick up. He probably did that shit from wherever he at. 
Sir yeah. Kyle, this is this is Ja and Pam from the BYOB podcast. Yo. Bro, on God, your Alexa just went off and we didn't even say nothing. We were talking and this bitch said, if Bro, you say so. On some real shit. So we were talking about jumping you when you when you got back and shit. And, and forcing you to drink tequila. Wow. I swear to God, bro, your Alexa was just like, yeah, if you say so. And that was all it said. Like, it and ain't say nothing it. else. Nothing else. Wow. I'm so Damn, serious. Man. No, we're not joking. Your Alexa just straight started talking. We didn't say nothing to her. We still live on the show right now, by the way. So. That's true. <laughs> What's up, world? Did, did you do that? No. Does your Alexa do that often? No. I don't believe this nigga. Yeah. I'm good ass. Bro, that shit, like, I've never even heard Alexa say if you say so. Me either. Or Siri or none of them shits. Bro, what y'all got going on in there? Nigga, we just recording the show. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm about to, we about to kill this shit because I'm, I don't know what that little bitch is doing over there, but I don't want no smoke. Yeah. Anyway, so we, um... We, uh, motherfucking, what's your final thoughts, B? I know you got some positive fucking words for these people. Uh, real life, now, today. Don't count on the week tomorrow. I ain't had an opportunity. It's like this nigga in jail and shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we about to make this nigga freestyle for the mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, free my, free my nigga, man. Kyle be home tomorrow, matter of fact. He be, yeah. My man to be home tomorrow, man. Hold your head. <laughs> yeah, bro. We out, though. Bye. You're... Bye. Wow. That nigga's lying. I don't know. This has been the second time some shit done happened in here. Oh yeah, the sec the other time the, the whole all this shit just like flew that way or some shit. I think he got remember the chair? Like remember yeah, the shit was know. sitting here, that That's shit just saying. fucking flew that way. It's something in here. But we we gotta go. We <laughs> So what's your um what's your what's your final fi final or positive thoughts for the week? Um, it's Black History Month. Find out something about your ancestors. Something cool. That's dope. Found about some some black history. Something that you didn't know already. Found something out. Learn something new. She stole my fucking shit. I told her that's what I was gonna say. It's not even black. <laughs> I told Man, get the fuck out of here. Go ahead, my bad, go ahead. <laughs> Nah, but Kyle actually did steal my shit because I was really going to say, like, you never know <laughs> when time is going to end, like, really live life. And he really, t like, took it and just gave it, like, a generic, a generic twist. Live life for the day. You never know what tomorrow's going to bring. All right, bye. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, Take care of yourself. Yeah. Stay on top of your health. A lot of people don't do that. Like, like good health is like a fucking, I don't know if it became taboo or what, but it's like, it's cool to not be in good health these days unless you get sick and you about to fucking, yeah. you in the hospital or some shit. Like, I mean, even, even with shit like eating right and shit like that, like people see that food is killing us every day. And we'll still go eat the same shit that they know is killing us. Yeah. And they'll make the excuse, oh, my grandma ate this fucking every day and she lived to be 80. Yeah, like, only nigga. 80 and her ass was sick too. <laughs> yeah, and most of our grandparents and shit, you know what I'm saying, had diabetes and was fighting diabetes for 20, 30 fucking years. Yep. High blood pressure for 20, 30 fucking years. Had pace, like, you know what I'm saying, like, they health was fucked up. They just lived long because that was just the... The the hand that was dealt to him. Yeah. But we know, we personally know people that we close to that didn't make it past like 35. Yeah. Like Jizzle died young, heart disease. You know what I'm saying? And it was to a point where, you know, I don't really like talking about it because that was like my brother. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's like yeah. that, that kind of opened my eye. Like, 
when you see it around you every day, mm-hmm. like it should open your and eyes. It's not hard to even just inquire about it. Mm-hmm. It's not hard, and there's so <clears throat> many options out here to eat better. It's a little expensive, but then you think about the bullshit that you spend your money on every day. Yeah, it's nothing to eat better. Cause I mean, what really is expensive? Like I see people say, like hypothetically, like Five Guys is expensive, right? Mm-hmm. But it's like, all right, I get it, nine dollars for a burger, but I can go to fucking Trash Donalds for. Two dollars and get a fucking McDouble and get just as full. But it's like, yeah. yo, you don't know where the fuck that meat coming from. At least with certain places, like, you know what I'm saying? You know that the meat fresh. Like, they don't even have freezers. Five guys don't have freezers. All they have is refrigerators. They don't have no freezer. They don't freeze anything. Mm. So, um, but no, nah, I said that to say that people, people don't want to be conscious of what they put in their body. Yeah. And if you tell them that, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you don't. You don't really give a fuck about yourself. They get mad. I mean, obviously, you you wouldn't say it in those words. Yeah. But, you know, when you question it and you tell them, like, they really get offended. So they put, they'll put they put pleasure over health. Because that's what most eating most of the time is pleasure. Like, yeah, it is. When you take that first bite of some shit that's bomb, you like, oh, my God. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? You, I'm about to fuck this shit up. You know what I'm saying? But it's yeah. like people put pleasure over their health. I mean, not just with food, with food, sex, with whatever. Like, Fact. it's it's like a fucking thing. It's like, yo. So just take care of your fucking self, man. Take care of yourself. Because if you don't, the motherfucking Grim Reaper will come take care of you for you. I'll kick this bucket. Everybody got a day. At least try to extend yours as much as you can. Hmm. So. Say that. Till next time. Peace. Till next week. That's what we do. I saved that last little bit just for that. <laughs> just for the toast. The drink is bomb as fuck. I was not drinking. Yeah, the pineapple juice. Well, I'm telling you, boy, you put that on. Some... All right, we out. <laughs>